Well, hello, my inky friends. It's Cindy Lynn with My Inky Fingers. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel and blog. I am a maniac. I mean, I have got another unboxing. There's always a reason to order. I mean, I ordered this in June after ordering four orders to get the free $60. Um, well, the, th the free $30 in host credit and then the extra $30. But um, there were just some things that I needed. So, I mean, if you don't have it, you need it, right? So I placed another order in June and I have yet another order coming with the mini catalog. So you de guys are definitely, if you're not subscribed, you're going to make sure you want to subscribe so you don't miss that. Now, I did pick up this ribbon. Um, because I don't have it and I needed it. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to use it for and I'm trying to figure out which one this is. The Old Olive Pretty Peacock. It is so pretty. I mean, I really like it. I don't use a whole lot of ribbon. I'm more of a twine person, but I didn't have it. So, and this one, there's a card that I wanted to make and I only had the one with the silver edge on it and I didn't have the gold edge. So, hello had to order the gold edge one, of course. Now, I have to tell you guys, I got the snow globe shaker domes. And you know, if you saw one of my other unboxings, you know that I didn't order the dies, so I said I was going to. But I was looking at the stamp set, and I'm looking at the domes, and I thought, I'm gonna be thrifty, and I'm not gonna buy the dies, I'm only gonna buy the domes, because I think I can cut out what I need and just use the domes. So I've got a card I'm gonna use with these. So I will let you know if it's a success. Now the foam adhesive sheets, I had to just give them a try just for die cutting out the letters and different things like that for words. Um, Cause you know me, I'm always spraying three levels high, deep and gluing everything together. So I thought I'm gonna give these a shot and see if I like them. Now. Oh, I had to order this. There's a card I want to make for Christmas and I'm not going to give you any hints, but I will tell you when I make it. Well, you'll see it because I'm going to use the make, the make a difference, but I needed a certain sentiment. I needed it to say something and there's no stamp set that'll say what I needed it to say. So look at these, you guys, look at these perfect little tiny little little typescript little letters. OMG. I am so super, super excited to get. Now, the only thing that would have made this absolutely perfect if these were upper and lowercase, but that's okay. I'm not going to complain. There is upper and lowercase of the script and then the bold font, the little type uh, typewriter text, I guess, if you will. But it comes with little numbers and all these like hand stamp by crafted for you by, made with love, delivered to for the fronts of your envelopes. I mean, come on. And there's a little oh, copyright stamping up. I didn't even see that. Is this really in here? Oh my gosh, it is. Copyright stamping up. So come on, had to have that. This is going to make a difference in my life. Now, somebody mentioned to me, thank you. I don't remember your uh, YouTube name, but somebody mentioned to me about the, um, Melon Mambo Stampin' Blinds, and hello, totally missed that they were a new product this year. Had to order those. And my Stampin' Right markers for the new ink colors. Would you believe I didn't even order these? So I was putting all my ink pads in the five little holders that I had previously bought, and I bought those back in November, anticipating all of the new ink colors, and I didn't buy the ink colors that were going to be expiring in our expiring retiring if you will I didn't buy the ones that were going to retire this year I waited for the new ones so those sat with other things in them and now I have my markers to put in with those so excited now rooted in nature do you guys remember lovely as a tree it very recently retired it was around for oh my gosh my 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 table is getting crooked um it was around for Oh, well, well over a decade. I mean, probably more than 15 years. It was around when I was a demo way, way, way back when. But it's, it's I keep wanting to say expired. It's retired now. So this rooted in nature, there's just, I mean, first of all, will you just look at these, these big, huge sentiments? I'm all about the big, huge, chunky sentiments. And these ones here, be strong, be happy, be you. You can use those separately. Are they all 
together they are but you can totally cut those apart no problem do some stamp surgery and guys they are cling come on so these here i have something in mind for those the trees i mean you just gotta have the trees not sure what i'm gonna do with this um that's like the wood after it's been cut right like that would be like a tree stump i guess not sure what i'll do i'm sure i'll figure out something at some point but the sprig in here love that i keep moving my board it's sitting on my glass tim holtz mat sorry so super excited about rooted in nature now i did get another one of these artistry blooms adhesive back sequins because i love these these are my favorite there's four sheets in here i'll show them to you if you watch my channel you've probably seen them quite often um, if you got the june paper pumpkin and you got the yellow sequins they're the exact same same size sheet same amount on there that come in the artistry sequins but there's blue there's yellow there's kind of like a peachy color and then this like wine color but omg i love these and i plan on using a lot of these so i had 60 dollars free and this was a, a smaller ticket item so i just put i either put it in there to bump me to the 300 or i put it in there to use up my host benefits now i got some embossing folders and i got the dainty diamonds because i don't have the dainty diamonds and you know i gotta tell you something that's really funny actually i accidentally ordered two dainty diamonds so i guess i really wanted this and i had it in my cart and then must have added another one so i'll probably keep this because i want to do another facebook live and do another game maybe another bingo or something so this will make for a really good prize so i got that one and then woodland i didn't have woodland yet and with christmas coming and halloween and whatnot i figured you know what this this embossing folder I needed it in my life. It's it's not in my embossing folder basket, so I needed it. The Absolutely Argyle, I really like this. I really, really, really like this. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can maybe do a nice um, painted background and kind of see if this will work with it. I don't know 100%, we'll see what happens, but you know. And then I noticed we have these paper pumpkin boxes. So, I mean, mini paper pumpkin box. How cute are those? So I had to pick those up. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but I'm one of those that when I want to do a project, I have to have the supplies on hand. Are you like that? Like, I'm, I think I'm a professional supply collector, hoarder, organizer. That's that's actually should be my title. I'm a, I'm a I'm a supply collector, hoarder, organizer, professional, 100%. Are you like that? Let me know in the comments below if you're like that too. So the last thing I got, show you guys this. I, I honestly don't know why I overlooked this peony garden in my first, uh, I don't know how many orders, but I've been looking at this and I am just, I mean, see this flower here? Oh my gosh. I'm so in love with the colors, the whites, the flower. So you know what? I just kind of went for it and I got the whole suite. So it comes with ribbon and dies and stamps more of these elegant faceted gems and these these here and the artistry bloom sequins are hands down my absolute favorite favorite embellishments right now so i had to pick this up so the prize peony is cling which i love i cannot wait to use this and i've got the dies so i'm going to put those in the same case this beautiful ribbon i mean this ribbon is so versatile it is such a pretty pretty brushed it's kind of like a brushed silver shimmered what color is this gray granite that's what it is so so pretty so you guys have seen the the gems because i use those quite a bit now these square vellum doilies i'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm gonna do with these, but you know what? They came in the suite, so I'm not complaining. Um, they're super cute. I mean, you could even, you know what? You could trim these around here, around the circle. Use the four on the outside on the corners, and then use the circle for an element on your card. And then you're kind of getting like a two for one deal on your little embellishments, right? So let's look at this paper. 
I, I did kind of unbox everything just so that there wasn't lots of crinkly sounds and whatnot while I was doing the video, but I honestly have not opened anything and really gone through it. So <clears throat> for the first two sheets, we've got these. I love this. This is so, you know, I love that Stampin' Up! down scales on their 12 by 12 paper so that we can use them for card making. So super, super pretty. Let's do this like this actually, so that you guys can kind of see them all. There we go. At the same time. Now the peach, peach and gray. I mean, these just, it's really not peach. It's petal pink, right? But they go so well. Oh, look at that. I love it. So, so pretty love this one i think i dog-eared my paper on this corner bad cindy lynn oh well that's okay this one here these peonies uh, you could actually color these in that would be super pretty this one's pretty actually this one i, I probably wouldn't use the whole thing because it's kind of busy i would have to scale it down this one feels a little busy to me too. scale it down this one you could color these in that would be so pretty and then the back side of it oh i love that marble that's super pretty so look at that paper absolutely gorgeous i love it so my pre-order from the new mini catalog was supposed to be here today which is friday it's held up in winnipeg at customs so FedEx is telling me there's a customs delay and I'm super bummed because it was the very first time that I ever expedited my order and now it's late but I'm hoping it'll be here Monday and if it is I will definitely post it as soon as I've got it filmed and edited for you guys so until I see you again take care and happy stamping <laughs>